Yo, what's up with it? Welcome back to another edition of Rebuke All Devils Radio. 107.7, home of the truth. And on today's show, we have Brendan Murphy. Louisiana man allegedly killed pregnant girlfriend, then threw her two-year-old son off a bridge to his death. Uh, shout out to Jerry for bringing us this story, courtesy of Law and Crime. A man in Louisiana was arrested after allegedly admitting to shooting and killing his pregnant girlfriend and then throwing her toddler son off a bridge to his death. Brennan Murphy, 20, was taken into custody on Monday and charged with two counts of first-degree murder for the slayings of Kayleen Johnson, 24, and her two-year-old son, Caden Johnson, the Baton Rouge Police Department announced. Baton Rouge ABC affiliate WBRZ TV reported that Murphy confessed to killing Kaylin in front of Caden and dumping her body in the woods with the boy still in the car. He then reportedly threw Caden from a bridge while the toddler was still alive and crying. Sources told WBRZ Murphy confessed to shooting and killing Kaylin in the parking lot of his apartment complex on North Harold's Ferry Road. Murphy then allegedly ditched a gun in the same wooded area where Kalen was found. Kalen's son, Caden, was reportedly in the car when his mother was shot and when Murphy dumped her body. The report states, After disposing of his girlfriend's body and the murder weapon, Murphy drove to the Central Thruway where he threw Caden, who was still alive, over the bridge. Sources told WBRZ, Murphy heard Caden crying as he drove away. Man. Breaking news, Curtis of WAFB9. Breaking update. A suspect is currently in custody in connection with the missing person case of Kaylin Johnson, 24, and her two-year-old Caden Johnson. And there go mother and son. May they rest in peace. While Murphy is not Caden's biological father, he and Kaylin were reportedly expecting their first child together this summer. Kaylin was reportedly approximately six months pregnant at the time of her death. Murphy reportedly turned himself in at the first district precinct on Monday. Following interviews with police detectives, he allegedly confessed to the slayings. The bodies of Kaylin and Kaden were discovered in two different locations later that day. Kaylin's body was discovered in a wooden area on Burbank Drive near Garter Lane, while Caden's body was found on Central Thruway, the advocate reported. He did get inf give information as to where the bodies were. As for why it happened, we don't know. LeJean McKinley, a spokesperson for the BRPD, reportedly told Baton Rouge NBC affiliate WVLA-TV Monday evening. He reportedly described the case as very tough and a tragic situation. The mother and son had last been seen alive on March 5th, but family members began to fear the worst after being unable to contact Kayleen for nearly a week and reported her and Kayden missing. BRPD officers at approximately 2.40 p.m. on Monday, on March 11th, performed a wellness check at Kayleen's home on Old Hammond Highway. New Orleans ABC affiliate WGNO reported. While there were reportedly no signs of foul play inside the home, Kaylee's cell phone had reportedly been disconnected. Kaylee's family began to fear the worst when her car was discovered abandoned on a dead-end street with the license plates removed, and an initially uncooperative Murphy reportedly went to ground. We found her car without the license plate on it, and from there it raised an eyebrow. One of the guys made contact with him. He refused to give information and disappeared. McKinley reportedly told the station he knew we were actively looking for him. He knew the mom and the two-year-old were missing. So from there, the family was reaching out. He was out on the streets and he decided to turn himself in. The police reportedly said that the mother and son appeared to have been dead for about a week. Court records show that Murphy is scheduled to make his initial appearance in East Baton Rouge court uh, before Judge Tiffany Foxworth Roberts on Tuesday. And man, what 
a horrifying thing he done to this young lady and her her son, man. May they rest in peace. I tell you, the wickedness is great on this planet. And, and, and ladies, you definitely have to be careful who you get into a relationship with. You know, your very life depends on it. Your very life depends on it. And your child's very life depends on it. You know, take that time. You know, take that time to understand who you who you meeting, who you thinking about getting with, and move slow. Take your time with it. But with that being said, man, drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Shallow to the Wizard.